sixth grade module four lesson 34 classwork example one so they're giving us a statement we need to write an inequality and then graph it so a says caleb has at least five dollars so he has either five dollars or more so i'm going to say caleb and then we have five dollars so caleb has at least five dollars which means he could have more than five dollars or he could have exactly five dollars so caleb is greater than or equal to five dollars so on our graph i'm going to circle put a circle on five dollars and i'm going to color it in now i color it in because that means it includes five if i leave it open it would be just greater than five but since i've colored it in and we have this or equal to sign that means we color it so he has five dollars or more so there's our graph. B, Tarek has more than $5. So Tarek has greater than $5. So his chart's gonna look a little bit different than Caleb's because I'm gonna leave an open circle on five because he has more than $5. He could have $5.25, but not $5. So that's the difference between Caleb and Tarek's graphs there is one includes $5, one does not. Vanessa has at most $5. So she could have $5 or she could have less. So Vanessa is going to be less than or equal to $5. So I'm going to color it in because it includes five, but she has anything less than or equal to $5. And then Li Chen has less than $5. So I'm gonna do an L. She has less than $5. So I'm gonna leave this circle open because it does not include $5 and point my arrow less than $5. Okay, now we're on to the word problems. Kelly works for quick oil change. If customers have to wait longer than 20 minutes for the oil change, the company does not charge for service. The fastest oil change that Kelly has ever done so took six minutes. Show the possible customer wait times in which the company charges the customer. So she could wait any, you could wait anywhere between the fastest she's ever done took six minutes. So you could wait between six minutes and it wants to know how long the wait time if they charge the customer. So it says if it takes longer than 20 minutes, then you don't have to pay. So longer than 20 minutes and it's free. So anywhere between six and 20 minutes is where you're going to have to pay, what your wait time will be. So if we're looking at the chart here, when you pay, it must be less than or equal to 20 minutes. And I did or equal to because it says wait longer, not 20 minutes or longer, it's wait longer than 20 minutes. So if you wait exactly 20 minutes, I would say you might as well wait another minute because it's gonna be free. But um, 20 minutes or greater means that um, you're gonna have to pay. So then on the shorter end, if the fastest or the fastest it's going to take is six minutes so x would be greater than or equal to six minutes so your wait time is going to be anywhere between six and 20 minutes for you to be charged for the oil change example three gurnaz is mowing lawns to save money for a concert Gurnaz will need to work at least six hours to save enough money, but he must work fewer than 16 hours this week. Write an inequality to represent this solution and then graph. So he must work at least six hours. So no less than six hours. So six is going to be less than or equal to however many hours he works, but he can't he must work fewer than 16. So X needs to be less than 16. So let's graph that out. So between six, I'm filling it in because he could work six hours, and 16 I'm gonna leave open because he cannot actually work 16 hours. So anywhere in there. Exercises one through five. 
Write an inequality to represent each situation, then graph the, situ graph the solution. Blayton is at most two meters above sea level. So he's at most two meters. So he could be at two meters. So Blayton, I'm going to use a B for Blayton, is at most two meters. So he needs to be less than or equal to two meters above sea level. So I'm going to put a circle on two and fill it in because it could be equal to two. And then he needs to be less than or equal than that. I'm going to put my arrow at the end. Number two, Edith must read for a minimum of 20 minutes. So she could read for more than 20 minutes, but she can't read for less than 20 minutes. So Edith must read for 20 minutes or more. So she's got to read for, she could read exactly 20 minutes, but she can't read any less. So I'm going to find 20 minutes and color it in because she could read exactly 20 minutes or more. Travis milks his cows each morning. He has never gotten fewer than three gallons of milk. However, he always gets fewer than nine gallons of milk. So Travis milks his cows each month. I'm going to use M to represent milk. Um, he has never gotten fewer than three gallons of milk. So he always gets more than three. So he always gets more than, or I guess he could get equal to three gallons of milk. However, he always gets less than nine, but it's always less than nine. He's never gotten exact nine or more, so I'm not gonna use or equal to. So let's graph this. So we have three, I'm gonna fill it in because it could be three, and then I'm gonna leave nine open and anything in between there. Number four, Rita can make eight cakes for a bakery each day. So far, she has orders for more than 32 cakes. Right now, Rita needs more than four days to make all 32 cakes. So Rita needs more than four days. The other information isn't really helpful right here. So I'm just going to say Rita needs more than four days. So Rita needs more than four days. So I'm going to circle four she needs more than four so I'm not gonna fill it in that's what our chart would look like and number five Rita must have all orders placed right now done in seven days or fewer how will this change your inequality and your graph so as before she could she just needed more than four days it could have taken her 10 11 12 days but right now we have a deadline so we need it to be in seven days or less. So Rita needs it to be in less than seven days, but she needs more than four. So it's not going to be any less than four. So four is less than the number of days that Rita needs, but the number of days that she needs is less than or equal to seven. So we're going to have four. She needs more than that, so I'm not filling it in but she could take seven days or less. So anything in between there. And I'll go ahead and do the possible extension exercises. So Casey has been mowing lawns to save up money for a concert. He earns $15 per hour and needs at least $90 to go to the concert. How many hours should he mow? So he's been saving money. He earns $15 per hour. So $15 per hour, I'm going to do X is per hour, and he needs at least $90. So he needs $90 or more. So this needs to be greater than or equal to $90 in order for him to have enough money for the concert. So how many hours does he need to mow? Well, let's do, let's solve for X. So 15, I'm going to divide by 15. It's greater than or equal to 90 divided by 15. So X is going to be greater than or equal to whatever 90 divided by 15 is, which would be six. So X needs to be greater than six, so he needs to mow for six or more hours. So our chart, he could mow six hours, that would give him exactly $90, or if he wants more, he can mow more hours. Number seven, Rachel can make eight cakes for a bakery each day. 
So far, she has orders for more than 32 cakes. How many days will it take her to complete the orders? So right now she can make eight cakes per day. So the X is gonna represent the cakes per day, or how many days. So far she has orders for more than 32. So more than 32 is how many cakes she has. How many days will it take her to complete the orders? So let's solve for X. So eight X divided by eight is greater than 32 divided by eight. So X is greater than 32 divided by eight is four. So X is greater than four. I'm gonna circle four, I'm not filling it in because she needs more than four days. Number eight, Ranger saves $70 each week. He needs it to save at least $2,800 to go on a trip to Europe. How many weeks will he need to save? So we save $70 a week, so seven X meaning per week, he needs to save at least $2,800. So he needs $2,800 or more. So he needs more than that, or exactly that. So let's solve for that. So 70x, I'm gonna divide by 70, is greater than or equal to 2,800 divided by 70. So I'm gonna make this easier by crossing off zeros, and then 28 divided by seven is four, so 280 divided by seven would be 40. So X is greater than or equal to 40. So on our chart here, I'm gonna circle 40 and I color it in because it is greater than or equal to, and then put my arrow for greater than. Number nine, Clara has less than $75. She wants to buy three pairs of shoes. What price shoes can Clara afford if all the shoes are the same price? So she currently has less than $75 and she wants three pairs of shoes. So her three pairs of shoes need to be less than $75. So let's solve. So three X divided by three needs to be 75 divided by three. So X is less than 75 divided by three would be 25. So each pair of shoes needs to be less than $25. I'm not filling it in because it can't be exactly equal to 75. And down. And then the last one, number 10. A gym charges $25 per month plus $4 extra to swim in the pool for an hour. If a member only has $45 to spend each month, at most, how many hours can the member swim? So, it gym charges $25 plus $4 every time you want to swim per hour. So 25 plus 4 times however many hours you swim. And she only has $45 to spend. So this needs to be less than or equal to $45. So let's solve this. I'm going to start by getting rid of 25. So 25 minus 25 plus 4x will be less than 45 minus 25. So we would have 4x is less than or equal to 20. Now let's get rid of the 4. So 4x over 4 is less than 20 divided by 4. And x would be less than or equal to 5. So she would be able to swim 5 hours or less. So anywhere between 0 and 5 hours. So between five hours, and you can't swim less than zero, so I'm not gonna do it on arrow, I'm just gonna do 